Hey guys, welcome back to Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach Ruin. Today, I'm going to be showing off all of the endings. So, I know there's three, including the one that we already got. However, first, there is something to do with deactivating all of the cleaner bots, and it's not an ending. There is a hidden Easter egg in Bonnie Bowl behind the wall, which will open if you deactivate all of the cleaning bots. Who's in there? Glam Rock Bonnie. So we're going to see him for the very first time. I'm not going to show you me deactivating all of them. There's one final one that spawns in, in Bonnie Bowl to actually go through the wall behind the bowling alley. I know I, I didn't get all of them, but I don't know which ones I need to get. Apparently there's a glitch that if you chapter select and get the ones you haven't got, it doesn't really register it, uh, but you can definitely do it if you start a new game. But I'm going to see if it's been patched. I don't know if there's been any, any updates, but first I'm going to try select the chapters and find the ones that I think I haven't got and see if the last one spawns in to actually access the back of the bowling alley oh there's also one other thing there's a arcade machine which i missed i'll play the clip now i actually mentioned that i missed the room that was actually probably a really good yeah that was great putting her there she's literally like a zombie it's outrageous <laughs> how long is she gonna stay there for until i make some noise it won't work yeah i tried using the mask again i have to turn off that inhibitor oh thing. hello there was another path i wanted to go there one more chica ah! <laughs> So the cutscene began and I missed the room. This chase sequence began. But there's a hidden arcade machine in there. And upon beating that, you get Chica's voice box and you can actually repair Chica. And she spawns in here. Why did she open the doors so aggressively? How are we going to do that? Maybe I should have done that before. She might despawn actually. Yeah, all right. Another time where I was like, why is Chica here? She spawns in. If you actually follow her into the bathroom, I was going to go in there, well, the toilets. She's on the ground and you can actually repair her voice box, which you retrieve from beating the arcade machine. That was actually a deleted arcade machine that was going to be in security breach, but Scott didn't finish it in time. Or I don't, I think Scott did all the, um, all the arcade games. I could be wrong. However, it wasn't finished. Whoever made the arcade game. So obviously it got finished. And by the time Ruin was released, it got um, dropped into that DLC. One last thing before I cut, guys, I have to take off the, uh, the overlay because it is absolutely boiling. But you can see on the bottom left, it says all collectibles found. That doesn't mean I've collected all of them. It's that, that's actually like a signal for what chapter I have collected all of the collectibles. So as you can see here, chapter five is the only chapter with the tick box. So chapter five is the only chapter where I've got all the collectibles. Load chapter one, begin playing from chapter one. I know there wouldn't be one in uh, a cleaning bot in chapter one, but fear not, no progress or collectibles will be lost. That's a reassuring message. I, I wish most games made it that abundantly clear. Guys, I'm in the daycare at the moment, as you can see, and I was actually just curious to see what happens if I travel to moon and didn't put any of the generators on. And uh, that actually is a jump scare. You can get killed by him, which seems like it has to be done on purpose because let's be honest, Who's going to miss two generators? He can't, he's, I think that's pretty cool how he comes from the ceiling. There was a different one if you only turned on one generator. I just wanted to try it. It's like him still battling between sun. It's pretty cool. Um, that's cool attention to detail. Like I said, you can only get them if you purposely do that. The daycare isn't a timed thing. And it's also not like part of the game where moon is chasing after you he's stuck in one place it's like it's there if you want to see the jump scares okay guys we are back and we are in chapter four where we are going to be playing chica's arcade game if you remember i i ran in there i can go into these uh girls toilets that sounded so weird so at first sight it looks like there's nothing here but if you actually go around i actually found this by myself by the way um yeah if you go around here around the back you can hear the arcade machine. Oh, it's called Chica's Feeding Frenzy. This isn't easy. All right, I've given it a go. I got to like wave 20 and I thought it was quite long for something to actually happen at the end. Like with Balloon World, I didn't know there was like a quote at the end if you beat it. On screen it says, good night, said by Moondrop, but that's within the game. So when you beat this, you retrieve Chica's beak and we can actually fix her in a future chapter. As I mentioned before, that's where you follow her into the toilets in the beauty salon and then she's on the ground and yeah, we'll see what happens when we give her her beak back. Oh yeah, I better like show you guys what this looks like. But yeah, I got a wave 20 and then when I found out wave 20 is the is the end, excited about that. Now I know there's actually a, a, an award for beating it. I'm gonna try even harder to uh, survive. I like obviously Monty Golf, there's just new levels in, in golf, but it's still pretty much the same thing, whereas this is a completely new arcade machine. It's actually quite satisfying. Ooh, what's that? Oh yeah, L2's the boost, by the way. R2 is a shoot. I don't know why you would use that because you would use the right stick because that's how you turn it around and it shoots automatically. You just got to keep on shooting it until it explodes. Boom. Oh, I've got a new gun. <laughs> yeah, there's four different ones you can get. But these ones are limited. Oh 
I'm off. No, I died because I was, I was off frame. Oh my god. I've got a sausage weapon, so let's use it. Slices of them. Oh my god, my health. Oh no. This might be the death of me. Oh, there's more sausage. Oh, I'm not going for that. There's health, there's health. Can I get that? Go for it. Don't go for it. Oh yeah, full health. Let's go. Guys, I've died. I've actually died. Oh, I'm gutted. I got to wave 13. I just got a new weapon from uh, that boss battle again. It's pizza. Oh god, hello. So that rainbow thing, they come like every five rounds. And now I've got pizza. Uh, I know 50 is the max for this weapon here. Uh, this, I think, is 500. And I don't know about the pizza. I also collected a uh, Chica cupcake. It spawned in loads of balloons. And every time I uh, collected them, uh, I got 100 points. So yeah, you got to be close to these guys. Oh, it, it wipes out a lot of them, but you got to be really close to use the pizza. Hey, this is what I was talking about. Come here. Yeah, because I tried shooting it before and um, yeah, it did nothing. So if I collect them, 100 points each time. Oh, that was so clutch. Almost died, but I just got some health, so that's good. Oh, boost came in clutch. Those star pots just don't move. Oh, I thought you could shoot the bullets. You can't. I mean, they're bullets. If you get hit, you don't blink for a little bit. If you get like hit like sh like a millisecond after, it will register. So it's like ah. Uh... You get a lot of health back when you collect uh, when you collect a bit. Oh, here we go. Yeah. I only have my normal gun. I have pizza, but I ain't getting that close. Am I even hitting it? I'm not even hitting it. I'm just looking at Chica right now because I do not want to get hit. We're getting there. Oh no no no! Come on! Explode! Me! Let's go. Give me all these balloons. Yeah, you know you want to give me them. Let's go, guys. Gosh. That is actually... Uh, yeah, it's not easy. Definitely getting pizzeria sim vibes from that. Can I get that balloon time? Yeah. No, I can't. <laughs> I was so close. Does it save my score? Uh, let's have a look. Oh, wait. Yeah, here we go, guys. Chica's voice box. So... It looks like a speaker oh, box. There is a quote. It's obviously Chica's speak. Come on. Did that come out? Where'd that come out of? Oh, wow. It doesn't even ch save your high score anyway. So, who cares? So, is that in our inventory now? Chica's voice box. Uh, there's no info about it. Just, yeah, okay. The exact same, like, artwork for um, Security Breach. That should be in Freddy, but it's not. Anyway, guys, let's go to the chapter where we can deliver Chica's voice box to her. Here we go. So, if we follow her... Wait, oh, what's going on? Chica? Okay. <laughs> I think I went a little bit quick. Oh, so this is actually the last time we see Chica. Yeah, why would you go in here? That's why I don't follow her. Why would I follow her to my death? But yeah, this is the last time we see her. So yeah, do. So Monty got electrocuted. Roxy, we deactivated ourselves. And Chica just passes out, it seems like. Here we go. Am I really doing this? Ugh. What actually is going to happen, though? Ew. So we can only repair, we can only repair Chica, it seems. No one else. That It'd be cool it. if we can repair. Whoa! Yeah. As I was say, it'd be cool if you could repair Freddy's hairs. Roxy doesn't get her eyes. Yeah, she you know, it only makes sense that. No, yeah, because Freddy's invisible without the mask. And Roxy, he's just in the electrified water. Yeah, okay, it only makes sense for Chica. It's such a random scene. Like, Okay, so that seems to be it. That's interesting, though. Um, you can't get any achievements for this DLC, which is a shame. I wish it added more achievements, because if it did, this would uh, definitely be on there. A cool little hidden cutscene. It's not like Chica's going to be on our side now or anything for doing that. But she's got her voice back, so if she does return and becomes reactivated... Should have a beak. If this is canon, what just happened. I still don't know how the voice box came out of the arcade machine. So I don't know about it being canon. But you know, something interesting to point out, guys, as well. I've just went into my inventory and I've still got the, the voice box. So I guess it's cool to see that it's permanently associated with your profile. So people know you've got it. All right, guys, we are now in... Bonnie Bowl, um, and I'm hoping I have deactivated all of the cleaning bots. I'm a little bit nervous, just in case the final one hasn't spawned in. Uh, do I have to go close? Oh no, no, would I only sit in AR? Ah, oh, I don't think you spawned in. No, the room is just behind here. Oh, damn it, man. I am back. It's been quite some time. It's actually night time now, by the way. I actually had to restart and do a brand new game. I still got my other profile, but this is my second profile where I've ended up having 
to deactivate all of the cleaning bots from scratch because it's still bugged. You can't go back through chapters and uh, deactivate the ones you haven't done already. Well, you can, but the final one doesn't spawn here. So you have to start a brand new profile. YouTube is like Dorco trying to get up as quickly as possible, modded it and glitched through the wall to see what's through there. But Ray McCaffrey gave him permission. So here he is over here, as you can see on his lonesome and I'm looking forward to it. So let's put on the mask and let's deactivate him. All right. Oh, so this is what opens. We have to do this to get a collectible? I have no idea what to expect, apart from what, that I know Glamrock Bonnie is in here. Which is exciting to say, and um, it's Bonnie Bowl. I actually thought when I was playing this, and we got to uh, Bonnie Bowl, that we would see him in here. But no, he's behind the bowling alley. So yeah, I was looking at this wall, guys, because I thought it was this wall, and there's a vent there. Oh, I'll take it, that's how we get out. Um, wait, no, I, I don't know. But, um, no, this opened up. Let's do this. This isn't an ending, guys, just to clarify. Um... Oh, my God! Bonnie! Oh, my God, look at his eyes. Oh, I want to hear him speak. So, there's some more bots here. It looks like a bloody ritual. Yeah, you can get out through the vent. What is this about? All right, let's deactivate him and see what happens. Let's, let's also get this collectible. What is it going to be? Hey, oh, help me blush. So cute. Let's go ahead and deactivate him. I have no idea what's going to happen. Wait, is he going to become alive? Is he going to... Okay, that's one. Um, that's two. Is he going to say something? That's three. Oh, I can't... Wait, why can't I deactivate the fourth one? No, what? Oh, I've always... I thought I glitched it then. I was like, no! Oh. What? Oh wait, did the lights go out? Okay, so we can see his face clearer now. Okay, I thought he would at least have a line or something. He was already dead, so low res Glamrock Bonnie. There he is though. So we've seen what he looked like in, in artwork before, but never the real deal. So why is he here though? Just chucked away. I really wanted to hear his voice, man. I didn't really see what happened there. I took it because we saw the eyes was just was, was yellow then. So yeah. Okay, well that seems to be it. So let's jump in to the other two endings. So there's one where, you know when Gregory's telling you which directions to go? I was always curious about this. All I saw online is that you gotta go a certain way, or I listened to Dorco say that. So we'll figure it out from there, because I didn't listen to the rest. Actually, before I cut, I just, I just want, oh, I wanna show off the vent. Oh, I just ran over his face. It's actually kinda of sad. Uh, I take it it's gonna be nothing exciting. Uh, imagine he just gets up now. <laughs> All right, there we go. We kind of just slid off that cleaning bot there. I'm happy, but that was, uh, yeah, I had to literally play through the whole DLC again. But it's done now. I'm happy. Let's move on to alternative endings. Okay, guys, I don't exactly know how many cameras there are, but this should open the door. This is one of the cameras. I just found it. So you have to zoom out, right? And then if I go over to it, you can tell this is a location in the pizzeria near the end of the game um, from FNAF 6, Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator. Is that the door we can go through? You know, the one we tried to get in. Wait, do we actually have to do anything or we just got to view it? I don't actually... No, I'm just going to assume we have to view it. But anyway, that's the first one. Let's move on to the second. Guys, I have found another one of those secret cameras. Uh, so zooming out here, there is a cheeky, cheeky one right here. And it makes a different sound when you go on to it. Wait. <laughs> I just changed it then, what was that about? Wait. Okay, that's it anyway. Okay guys, I have found the next hidden camera. So if I zoom out here, it's right... Here! It switches again. I don't get it. And, and it's frozen as well, that's the thing. Uh, oh, can I do this in time? Are you having me on? That was literally as soon as I came out of the camera system. I'm gonna go on to the hidden camera again just to make sure because I don't think it would save otherwise because I need to do it and then wait for an auto save so then I don't have to worry about dying. It's the same with the voice box. I'm like what have you died after going out of the arcade machine but it loads after you come out of the arcade so I'm assuming that was like a checkpoint that had its own auto save. So if he dies you probably started you probably respawned uh, in front of the arcade machine. Do you can does it even spawn in, in here that's the thing. Oh there we go. Listen to this line, but, uh, not right now. Listen to this line that Gregory can say. I just think it's like pretty funny. Or the mimic, or whatever you want to call it. What on earth is she doing? She's trying to do you know what? This one. Marco, Paolo. 
It's funny because I looked up the other day what that means then, Gregory. <laughs> I know what it means, but where it originated from. Oh, let's just quickly see what happens when you uh, get run over by the go-kart. <laughs> just ran straight into it. It's a cool little um, animation for the cutscene. It doesn't just go static like when you fall off a Monty Golf. Like, they could have at least made Cassie go, Whoa, but yeah, <laughs> I like that. Revenge for Roxy, but then it, Cassie gets run over, not Gregory. So when Roxy finds out, she's like, ah, oh, crap. Yeah, I wonder who activated that though. It must have been the entity. Guys, I just found the last um, hidden camera, and it's on this one here. I thought it would be in Bonnie Ball, rather than uh, when we had to lure Roxy. Um, yeah, no, so it's actually on here. I think I remember Dorco saying there is four. Okay, I still don't understand what this is all about, but I think the door should be now unlocked, but we'll find out. All right, guys, we are, well, we're pretty much here. Um, I just want to show you guys what happens if you do this um, before you interact with this, like you're supposed to do, because there is actually some, well, different dialogue. Gregory, are you in there? The stupid door won't open. Well, it looks like someone poured concrete over the door. How am I supposed to get rid of concrete? So he's using quotes from the previous game because Gregory said that at the beginning when trying to let out Freddy if he didn't collect the, um, well, the, the, the card to let him out. The stupid door won't open. And yeah, he says that exact quote. So it's like sometimes he's using a voice changer, sometimes he's reused quotes. Well, that's floating. Why would he use that quote here? Because one, this isn't a door. And two, yeah, I think he tries to make it sound like he's on the other side, which he is. It's like he's using a Gregory voice changer and a Gregory soundboard at the same time. He switches between them, I mean. You're not Gregory. I love that Freddy walkie. What are you? I'm Gregory. There's no point using that now. <laughs> oh! Wait, 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 wait. wait. I just noticed that during the cutscene he's got a costume on. Huh? I didn't realize it changed that. You need to get out of there now. How? I bring his access to the building map. Just follow the instructions. Why is there static there? Her instructions. Oh my god, what the heck? Listen, he's got a DVD skin on. Why isn't he chasing me? Oh, he is! Um, I kind of wanted to see a mimic jump scare, but at this point... Ah! So I take it that would have been the same jump scare if he didn't have that costume on. He has, I know for a fact, in there he has other suits, like there's an elephant one. Still we'll tweet it out uh, when it's Happy Elephant Day and it was a picture of the suit. But yeah, that's if you go off camera. I think I kind of saw it there during the cutscene, but... Yeah, I didn't realise he gave you like a head start. It's like he trolls you because, like, you know, he's walking at a point. What is that costume? Oh, wait, we were gonna do this, weren't we? What the hell? Oh, this is a dead end. It's like a fan game. Yeah, I think he's got that costume because of the cameras. So that shows that it is gonna work. The door is gonna open. I'm gonna have to turn that down. That is really, really loud. So, not yet. Go right. Keep going. Keep getting. Yep. Yeah. I'm definitely getting sister location vibes. You're a bit slow there, buddy. Oh my gosh. Nice skin. Oh, so that is a straight up dead end. Oh! Why is that there? Okay, this is where we need to go. Gosh. What? Where are we? The door's shut. Wait, what? What's happening? Where's he gone? This music's sick. Oh, hello. Press square to use. Uh. Okay. <laughs> oh my god! Is he gonna burn up? What's that? Which one's meant to be the canon ending? Well, you haven't seen the other one yet, but well, it's different music. So I think I saw someone say something about that is meant to be the scooper ending, but I didn't know which one it was. But looking at that, that's got to be it. So what was the other one? I was meant to go the other... I'm lost. I was meant to go another way. 
And then there's another ending. So we need to do that. That's pretty cool though. I'm not gonna lie. Hopefully it just starts um, the chase sequence again. Yes, yes, yes. So it's not left. What is this? Would it be cool if you could loop him and go back to see Roxanne? God, you can see his eyes through the mouth. Like, why is he dressed up as that? I, th I think that's pretty cool how you there's an ending that you can kill him. Because he kills the mimic. I might need to research this. Oh, it's blocked off. It's blocked off. Guys, it's blocked off. I can't even get the normal ending. So that would have to be your ending if you did that. How would she get out though? But I'm going to see what this other ending is. I'm so confused. Unless I can't do it on this profile. But no. Oh, because I did it on profile one as well. I looked at all the secret cameras. Please don't tell me. I've got to restart the whole game again. All right, guys. I've just done that ending again because I want to see if there's a post credit scene. Usually in security breach of every ending, you have to wait for the credits to end. You can't skip or you won't see it. So maybe there is one. No, there isn't. Great. Right, I've just researched um, what we have to do. I hope it works with the mascot, but there is a path which I meant to go, and I just completely missed it. And this is being called the Fredbear ending. Oh, this still gets me. I hope it works with the mascot. It's just a skin for him anyway. Thank you. Hurry. There it is. If you look to your left. Look at Vanessa on the left! Wait. It's got a daycare theme. Cassie, I'm okay. I found somewhere to hide. Mate, this is probably the best ending because of the music. This actually was my ringtone for a very, very long time. I think, yeah, literally when Security Breach came out, as soon as I heard the song, I was like, this is so being my ringtone. <laughs> This is seriously going to be, yeah, this is going to be the credits music for this. This is definitely the happiest ending. I'm not seeing that as, as a thumbnail, but I, I couldn't tell if it was fan made or not, because a lot of people did that security breach, but obviously that's real. I saw this multiple times. I didn't realize it was like a stop motion animation. Um, you saw Vanessa with an ice cream. So that just proves Princess Quest is canon, but help you was there. But why did Gregory say, Cassie, it's fine. I found somewhere to hide. It just seems really random. This ending is really random. It's funny though. It's really goofy. So yeah, I never did the mimic, so it's not blocked off if um, I was just I just couldn't see it. I just didn't know where to go. Also, guys, I found out why it says special thanks to DJ stuff, because in my playthrough I was like really confused. He was a beta tester for Ruin. Okay, so there's no post credit scene for that either. Also, I meant blocked off. Um it's not like it was gonna be blocked off if he has the mascot costume on there because yeah, well, it had nothing to do with the mimic, that ending. But we were actually able to use the mask there because we could see it was all glitching, the Fred Bear. Yeah, that was Fred Bear, but like a Freddy and friends on tour version of him. Yeah, he was holding ice cream and we could put the mask on and that happens. Yeah, really random. I've 100% completed security breach. I think I've actually got all the collectibles. I just want to show them off real quick. Oh, that is scary every time. This is all of the equipment you can get uh, within Ruin. Christ, it just started raining super hard as soon as I shut my window as well. Thank God, by the way, it's, it's been boiling. I've been saying this a lot, haven't I, recently, but now it's pouring with rain, so that's good. Um, yeah, so the, vo uh, the voice box here, you can tell it's a bit cartoony because, of, yeah, it's just been ripped from security breach here. It's the exact same logo for when Gregory picks it up. Real collectibles, you can get a total of uh, seven Faz tokens. So this is why Princess Quest is the canon ending because these are all comic book strips which Gregory has been drawing. God knows why they're in prize boxes. This is just like a fantasy. He was drawing and colouring in multiple outcomes that he saw himself in just for fun, it seems like. But uh, yeah, we've seen this. This is actually the same as this one. That's the end of that ending. That's the bad ending when you just escape out the main doors in Security Breach. This is the VIP ending. Um, this is the Vanny ending. This is the, what do you call it? You need a high, high enough security badge level, aka collecting more of the security badges, because that's technically what you're doing, right? When you get enough, um, and you go through the back door, you have to do it at 6am, I believe. I think all of the endings, yeah, all of the endings after 6am, for some reason. But yeah, if you have a high enough security clearance, this ending, um, happens. And then that's the end of that one. Uh, this is also the Vanny ending. <laughs> I like that. Gregory should be an artist when he grows up. And then the Burn Trap ending, that confirmed it wasn't real. That was like the only one that wasn't a comic book strip though. But yeah, the only one here isn't the Princess Quest ending. Now, for Vroon, what could be the canon ending? It's obviously not going to be that ice cream one. So it's either the Scooper one or the one that everyone pretty much got. I'd be very shocked if someone got the Scooper ending first try. But yeah, it's definitely a happier ending. I'm sure you'll be able to get out um, because obviously it's not free then and then Gregory will help you get out, I guess. And then, well, the police or whatever, you'll get saved. But I'm sure we're going to have to wait and see. It's going to be a mystery to see which one is the canon ending. If there is like a Security Breach 2 or maybe in Help Wanted will find out 
that Hamp wanted to come out at the end of this year. Also, if this never happened, how does he know what Burn Trap and the Blob looked like? Because he, clearly they exist. Or maybe it didn't. It doesn't. It means it didn't exist. If that was the only one that wasn't comic book strip. Yeah, no, they must. Oh, do they exist? Obviously, Vanessa told Gregory about the mimic. I think she knew about that. Uh, but he's been locked down there a long time. And maybe that is Burn Trap. And what happened to the Blob? Apparently, he's off camera. So I'm gonna have to look at that. It's funny because the most fictional ending seems to be the the Princess Quest one. If you saw it, but then you would make that the animated one and not comic book book strip. It's cool. That was actually a major mystery. No one knew what the canon ending was. It's like they did that on purpose and they associated collectibles within the DLC, the other endings, into this DLC, this continuation of the security breach, which is great. We're always asking questions and the endings got involved with it. This confirms Princess Quest is the canon one and I said it in my end of my playthrough, I thought that. And you get some spare fast tokens. I think you only need five for the full story of uh, Candy Cadet talking about the mother, child's and the monster in the basement. It's funny because he was foreshadowing like what was in the basement and that we were going into the basement. I don't know about the mother though. I don't think it has any relevance. It's not even a random ending to choose as well because I feel like most people, I got the Princess Quest ending when I first finished Security Bridge. I think a lot of people did. I think a lot of people would have got the bad ending, you know, when Cassie's going down in the elevator. Gregory betrays Cassie. You got the ice cream ending, which is definitely the best. Well, I don't know. Why am I so Cassie there? What even is that? Anyway. Um, yeah, Scooper, good ending, and then bad ending is definitely the default ending. The Cassie death ending. But then you got a post credit scene though, so that, you know, well, Roxy saying Cassie, so it could, oh, like, it must mean it's the canon one. You could actually skip to get that as well. Yeah, these two endings that I showed you guys didn't have a post credit scene for either of them. The first one was the blob when we saw the Scooper coming down. What is up with the mascot costumes? I thought when we were first going into that room, it was like, oh yeah, he's got us where he wants. Manipulated Cassie, got her where he wanted her to be. Which I think is Afton, I, I could be wrong. <laughs> because collectible save, it'd be cool if you could go back and use the spare two Faz tokens for whatever. I think they're the only prize boxes that respawn i believe so you can actually um, interact with candy cadet again we see the um the conduit wire device thing in how wanted to in the teaser trailer so you never know that could be the continuation i'm actually like invested in these characters now uh, you know vanessa gregory mainly gregory and cassie so i want to see him return i don't see him if they do like having a massive role in the next game uh being how wanted to if they do because it's vr and i feel like that's going to focus mainly on mini games again but i'm saying like security reach 2 maybe in another DLC for Security Breach, but I just want to see them return. It looks like Cassie is alive, but how is Ro how did Roxy even get down there? And how did she get reactivated? Or unless she, I felt like, yeah, that, that cuts a little bit and then Roxy makes her way down and sees Cassie and says, Cassie? AR collectibles, guys. Take a look and here are all of them all together and it's not in the chronological order you get them in it's the game's order okay it's their order these are all the collectibles in the game i've made sure so if you're looking for a 100 percent completion run and you're thinking you're missing any here you go doesn't say the locations figure that out <laughs> this is going to be my uh, final video playing brewing well on security breach until they potentially release a new dlc hopefully they patch it so you don't have to go through the whole game getting the bots and i hope i wish something more interesting happened when you interacted with the four bots in there and i don't know if they add to the tick box um, when you get all the cleaning bots. Wait, hang on. This is one way to find out. I say I've checked, but... What? No, no. I'm missing a collectible in chapter 8. Hang on a minute. Let me find that. Can I not see it from up here? I mean, it might be a uh, real collectible. We're not actually sure. I said I made sure. I didn't. Well, at least it tells you. That's pretty cool. But it didn't say, like, how many you've got in the chapter. Because like, you, if you're just waiting for it to tick and, you're, and it doesn't tick, you're just going to be so annoyed because you don't know how many you're missing. <laughs> My heart. They shouldn't do that more. That is terrifying. Uh, I know it's in here. I know it is. Yeah, it's a collectible I've already got, but on my second profile I haven't. So what was it? Okay, it was the Freddy lunchbox. How do I not? Guys, I've been recording all day. In fact, I can leave. No, 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 I won't save. Aha. I quit during the loading, so hopefully. Wait, I've got all of them. Okay, that was all the collectible. So remember what I just showed you, but add the Freddy lunchbox. Don't know how I didn't notice that. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna end this here. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy, don't forget to smack a like on the video. Subscribe. I'm boiling hot. I've been recording all day. It's night time. As you can see at the start, it was daytime. So I'm gonna be uploading a jump scare compilation. So every time I got jump scared within Ruin, there was definitely quite a few times. And I did do one for Security Breach because I barely got jump scared. I mean, I may have got jump scared. Yeah, I'm not saying I'm a pro at it, but I mean, I didn't really react i didn't find him as scary but um with this there was so many moments where it just got me and i've actually got a song planned to release 
on Ruin. We ain't gonna talk about how it's gonna be done, who's singing it, or if it's gonna be a duet. I know you guys, thank you so much for sticking with me throughout this journey, if you have, and it, yeah, it means a lot. This has been really, really fun. I've had an absolute blast recording this series, Security Breach and Ruin. It's sad, it could be the end of Security Breach if there's any more DLC. A Security Breach 2 would be great, because otherwise, what would that post credit scene be of Roxy saying Cassie? It could just be a cliffhanger, and then you just decide yourselves, or it's meant to just clarify that Cassie's alive. They don't have to ca carry on at all. Well, Cassie's story anyway, but with the Mimic, it opens up the next chapter for him, or it. Fun fact, Help Wanted was certainly my favourite playthrough to do on my YouTube, and Help Wanted 2 comes out at the end of this year, so I cannot wait. As stressful as it's definitely going to be as like it was for the first one, the hard work's worth it, recording and editing, especially of the amount of like crashes and that I had. It wasn't the game, it was just my computer, you know, the VR, the recording, it was just too much for my PC to handle. Yeah, I need to get upgraded. But thank you so much for watching. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed, like I said. Subscribe if you're new around here. And I will catch you all in the next video. Take care.